I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting questions to differentiate trigonometric inverse function with substitution. The question here is to differentiate sine inverse of 2x over 1 plus x square with respect to x. Now we like to change this form so that we could get sine inverse of sine something. Now there is a trigonometric formula which can help us do this. Let me write down the formula then I can explain you uh, how we derive it or kind of this identity, right? Sine 2 theta is 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. Now this is a very popular identity. If you are out of touch, let me give you some derivation here. So if you work on the right side, 1 plus tan square theta could be written as secant square theta and we have tan theta here so which is let me just write this as uh, uh, sine theta over cos theta right so we'll write this as sine theta over cos theta right now secant square theta is 1 over cos square theta so let me rewrite this as sine theta over cos theta and secant square theta could be written as 1 over cos square theta, right? Now, in this particular expression, cos square theta will cancel, and what you're left with is 2 sine theta cos theta, which is equal to sine 2 theta, right? So, that is the trigonometry part of which you should know. Now, so that helps us to simplify this. So, we are looking for this kind of an expression. And to get this, we'll say, let us substitute x as equals to tan theta, right? So x is being substituted as tan theta. Then what do we get? So we can write this function as y equals to sine inverse, and within bracket, 2 tan theta over 1 plus tan square theta. So 2 tan theta over 1 plus tan square theta, which is tan, which is sine 2 theta, as you have seen the derivation, right? So we'll write this as sine inverse of sine 2 theta, correct? Now sine inverse of sine 2 theta will be 2 theta, correct? Sine inverse of sine 2 theta is 2 theta. Now from here, we can actually write what theta is. As you can see, x is tan theta, so theta equals to tan inverse. Of, so theta can be written as tan inverse x. So we'll replace this and write y equals to 2 times tan inverse x. Now the derivative is very simple. We just need to apply the formula for tan inverse x, right? So dy dx is equals to 2 times derivative of tan inverse x, which is 1 over 1 plus x square, right? So we get our result as equals to 2 over 1 plus x square. So that is the derivative for the given function. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps to understand how to substitute, simplify, and then get the derivatives for inverse trigonometry functions. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.